Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design a Schmidt trigger and we will simulate this particular circuit using the LT Spice tool. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Now, we can divide this particular circuit into two parts. So depending on whether the output is high or low. So if the output is low, then the transistor M6 is on and M3 is off. And we must be concerned when we are considering the switching point voltages. While the output is high, the transistor M3 is on and M6 is off and we are concerned with the N channel portion. Now let us start working on this particular tutorial. So open a new schematic, click on components and now place the NMOS with explicit substrate connection and place this particular NMOS on the schematic window which is transistor number M1 and Again, place the NMOS M2, that is transistor number 2, in the circuit. And we have to place the third transistor, which is M3. Next, click Escape. Move the transistor accordingly with respect to how much spacing you require. Now again click on components and we will select the PMOS transistor with explicit substrate connection and place three PMOS transistor in the schematic window. In order to rotate the transistor, use CTRL plus R. Next, click on wire and connect the PMOS, that is transistor M5 to M4 and from M4 to M2 and from M2 to M1. Connect the source of the transistor M3 to the source of source and the drain of transistor M2 and M1 and similarly connect the transistor number M6 to the drain of transistor number M5 and the source of transistor number M4. Now connect the gate of transistor M4 to the gate of transistor M2 and connect the transistor M5 to the gate of transistor M4 and the gate of transistor M1 to M2. Now extend this particular wire as shown in this tutorial and let us place the ground connections for transistor number 6. Now click on wire, connect the transistor number 6 to ground. Now click on wire and extend the wire between the transistor number M4 and the transistor number M2. Now connect the transistor number M6 
from the gate of transistor number M6 to the extended wire and connect the transistor number M3 that is from the gate of a transistor to the extended wire. Click escape and now click on label net. Now place the label net V in that is the input on the schematic and again click on the label net and define V out and place this on the schematic window. Now click on the component and we have to place the voltage source in the schematic window. So place two different voltage source that is voltage source V1 and the voltage source V2. Click on ground and place the ground connection for the two different voltage source. Now click on wire, connect the negative terminal of the voltage to the ground and extend the wire of voltage source V1, click escape and again click on wire and extend this wire. Now click on label net and define this particular label net as VDD. Click escape. Now right click on the voltage source and define the DC value as 1 volt and change this particular voltage source to VDD. Now click on wire and extend the wire on transistor number M5. Now click on ground and place this particular ground connection near transistor M1. Click on wire and connect the source of NMOS to the ground. Now place the label net VDD across the extended wire of transistor M5 and place the label net VDD on transistor M5, M4 and M6 and click on ground and place the ground connection on transistor M2, M1 and M3 and click escape. Now we have to define the voltage source V2. So right click on voltage source V2, define this as pulse, define the initial as 0, V on as 1, T delay as 0, T rise as 100 nanosecond, T fall as 100 nanosecond, T on as 1 nanosecond and T period 2 microsecond. Now name this particular voltage source as Vn. Now note that we have used 6 transistor and we have to define the BSIM model file for this particular transistor. So define the model name as P underscore 50 nano and define the length of this particular transistor as 50 nano and width as 1.3 micro. Similarly, we have to define mm -hmm. the BSIM model for the rest of the transistor. You can see this particular BSIM model file. Now right click on transistor number M4 and define the model name as P underscore 50 nano, length has to be 50 nano and width has to be 1 micro. Right click and define the model name as P underscore 50 nano, length as 50 nano and width as 1 micro and click OK. Similarly define for your NMOS transistor N underscore 50 nano, length has to be 50 nano and width has to be 500 nano. This particular model name that is N underscore 50 nano has to be similar to the model name which is present in the BSIM file which I had showed previously. So define the length as 50 nano and width as 500 nano. Again right click on transistor M3, 
define the model name as n underscore 50 nano length as 50 nanometer width as 1.125 micro now click on label net and define the label net VDD across the extended wire of transistor number M3 now click on edit and click on spice derivative we have to include that particular BSIM model which we have utilized for this design so the model so the file name is bsim4 underscore models dot text and place this on the schematic window if we don't place this then we would end up in getting error click on edit click on spice analysis define the stop time as 200 nano and place this on the schematic window now let us run this particular simulation before that we have to save this particular design save this particular design in the folder where you have the bsim4 model file present if you don't save where the bsim model file is not present you will end up in error now run the simulation click the probe on the V in and click the probe on the V out you can see the transient analysis for the summit trigger circuit the benefit of using the summit trigger namely it allows slow moving inputs to be made into a good solid logic high and low values Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. Request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.